What's up, everyone? And today is Tuesday. This is Tuesday's Roundup, your weekly news update for May the 8th, 2018. Let's go. What's up, everyone? And how was your week? Um... For the most part, I guess uh, some of you had a great week too as well because some of you guys are here on uh, free comic book day. Um, this picture right here inside. So what I'll do is I'll probably put it inside or in the bottom. Um, as I talk, I'm gonna I'm gonna post the pictures in there, all the pictures that we have. Um, believe it or not, um, we were at a full staff last time, so we had some time to take pictures. Uh, you might have seen Lewis taking pictures of you randomly, um, but uh, yeah, no, we had a. We had a full staff in there. We had a full event. The event was from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. and it was, it was great. Um, so we uh, we did some projecting in there. So uh, yesterday. So it turns out we may have had around 330 to about 340 um, attendees uh, that came in. So um, between Fort Lauderdale and all the way down here in Miami, I believe Tate's had 600. And we had about 330, 340. I'm not quite sure. Don't quote me on that. I'm still a little tired. Um, so that uh, pretty much uh, solidify um, Multiverse Core Comics uh, free comic book day 2018, the biggest free comic book day here in Miami. So uh, thank you for everyone that um, that came, especially all um, all our um, sponsors, uh, not sponsors, all our partners there too as well. Um, I'm not going to name every single one of them, so I'm just going to put it in the bottom in here because um, <laughs> I'm going to put it in the description below uh, on this video on our, on our YouTube channel because if I miss one, that's no bueno. So um, so thank you for all our partners in there that believe in us. Our co-sponsors, our co-sponsor for the event, uh, Cosplay Fame, Raul from Cosplay Fame, as well as Adrian from Fan Freaks. Um, thank you for uh, continuing supporting us too as well. Um, there's going to be a lot more of that kind of event that's going to be happening. Uh, we work really hard in those events and thank you for everyone that came and literally ma making Free Comic Book Day 2018 the biggest Free Comic Book Day here in Miami. Um, it was great. It was great. We, um, I guess we were like in the news too as well. Um, but uh, yeah, no, no. Thank you again for everyone that came. Uh, we ordered hundreds of free comic books and we were all sold out. It was done. We had to do them in three waves. I don't know if you guys remember. We had to do them in three waves. We we originally wanted to do it in two waves, but the line was relentless. It was just going and going and going. Um, it didn't die down until like, what? Three, thir oh, Lewis is on the phone. Lewis is here, by the way. Um, the lineup didn't die down until like about 3 o'clock, 3.30, around that time. Yeah, it didn't die down until that time. Um, even then, right after that, uh, we had a um, we had the Dragon Ball Fighter Z tournament with uh, fan freaks there, and the lineup also increased a little bit there too as well uh, for the tournament. And I, we posted the videos for the um, for the tournament there too as well. As well, if you guys go to Facebook.com/fanfreaks, uh, you'll see the tournament videos there too as well. So um, it was. Um, it was, uh, it was a great tournament. It was a great turnout too as well. Uh, just a brief reminder, the next free comic book day, because there's two free comic book days in the year. The main one was yes, uh, was this Saturday that just passed. The next one is on Halloween Comic Fest. And trust me, we're going to make that one at just as big as well. We're going to... I'm in the planning process right now and... Um, we're gonna make it big too as well, just like last time. Uh, just like uh, Free Comic Book Day, it's gonna be that big too as well. So that's our our big event coming up. So again, I just want to thank everybody that came um, to Free Comic Book Day. I hope you guys had the, I hope you guys had a great time. Um, if you had, go ahead and comment down below, hit that like and subscribe button there. Um, but uh, yeah, no, again, I, I cannot thank you guys enough. Thank you again for coming. Speaking of. Um, Free Comic Book Day in Miami being the biggest uh, Free Comic Book Day here in Miami for 2018. Uh, something very uh, unique thing happened. Um, I'm going to post it up right here. This is Miami New Times. Um, 
newspaper they do this yearly and uh, we are being nominated for best bookstore look at that uh, we're being nominated for best bookstore and uh, for Miami um, so um, if you guys don't mind I know this is one of those things where I could just tell you in person but if it's possible uh, you can go log into Miami uh, to Miami News Times actually I'll put down the the website right here below and the description down below so you can just click on it if you guys log into Miami News Time uh, newtimes.com um, you can go ahead and um, if you can if you have a spare few minutes it doesn't take that long um, go ahead and uh, please vote for us as uh, Miami's best uh, bookstore uh, that'll be amazing I voted already I voted six times so how about you Lewis I'm making zombie accounts they should be processed He's, he, he's not making a zombie account. Don't believe what he's saying. Uh, he's going to vote the right way and legally, right? Sure. Getting back to the voting, I mean, like, if you guys can, please vote for us uh, when you do have time. It doesn't take that long. It takes about a good two minutes to just to, uh, to vote for us there uh, for Beck's comic book store in there. Uh, voting, I believe, ends on the 24th or the 22nd of May. Uh, so you guys have about two or three weeks to vote in there. So definitely, please vote us at the best comic, uh, best bookstore. Um, I'm just gonna hit the link in there anyway, so you'll you'll see it right away. So if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know concerning it too as well. So while we are in the topic of um, um, basically uh, best uh, best bookstore as well as being the biggest um, free comic book day here in Miami. Um, Something to celebrate too as well, as of this moment, hopefully none of you guys, um, well, uh, hopefully it's still at this moment. As of this moment, our YouTube channel has reached 200 subscribers. So thank you again for uh, subscribing to our YouTube channel. Um, it's been about uh, nine months, so it took about nine months to do uh, 200 subscribers. So um, thank you again for everyone who subscribed to us too as well. Um, if you can, if you know anyone that is also a big comic book um, enthusiast or trying to get into comic books, you guys know what our channel is all about. Um, go ahead and s go ahead and share this, share this uh, video, and share share our channel too as well. Um, you know, so they can um, they can understand where the passion is coming from. So, <laughs> but again, thank you for everyone who subscribed to our our YouTube channel. And uh, there's gonna be more um, there's gonna be more news coming up too as well. So, so the next thing that we want to uh, acknowledge here too as well is that in the past two what is that, Lewis? Two or three weeks? In the past two three weeks. So in the past two three weeks. Um, We've uh, we've seen an increase of subscribers that we had, um, a lot, a lot of subscribers started ha um, coming into as well. You know, they're subscribing to this and that, and then free comic book that comes out too as well. Um, yeah, definitely, we had a lot of subscribers uh, subscribe to us. Uh, they've heard about us. They've also seen our YouTube channel. They're also seen our ads and an increase. So there was a big increase of subscribers. <laughs> so we had a big increase of subscriber here at the store. Um, so what's uh, what's uh, what's going to happen is that I, I would just like to take time to acknowledge all those new subscribers and say. How are you guys doing? My name is Tim. Lewis is right over there. Um, so if you guys have uh, if you guys have seen us on YouTube, so you guys already know what we look like. Um, I am Lewis. Uh, so direct all your complaints to me. <laughs> so yeah. So my name is Tim. Lewis is right over there. And then we have another uh, we have another employee here. His name is Christian that works here. Oh, Hanyo works also here too as well. And another guy named Kevin. Um, Kevin is a very mysterious man. Uh, so we just want to take time and say welcome to uh, to Multiverse Core Comics in here. Um, I hope that um, in, the, in the next few weeks, how how you guys receive your books in here and your experience, uh, I hope that your experience are going to be um, really extraordinary. extraordinary. Uh, that's what we're trying to do here at the store. We're trying to um, we're trying to give you guys. Uh, the best customer service as well the best experience when you walk into a comic book store so um, if you guys have not known yet we do a, we do a lot of signings in here and we do big events if you are one of the ones that actually signed up during free comic book day would those are the type of events that we're aiming for and what we're trying to do here at the store um, 
so for uh, for our legacy uh, legacy current uh, sorry current legacy subscribers, um, go ahead and introduce yourself to uh, to our new subscriber there, and then uh, definitely let them know about your experience at the store too as well. So we want to make uh, we want to make um, these uh, these new subscriber as comfortable as possible, and there are there are a lot of them that that signed up. So uh, we want to make it as comfortable as possible. We want to be we want to approach them as friendly as possible too as well. It's not like we're not. But um, but if you notice someone that you haven't uh, yeah you haven't seen before on a regular basis, definitely say hi to them. Uh, we're gonna be doing the exact same thing too as well. So um, we want to give them the best experience. So uh, so to everyone, uh, to all the brand new subscribers, again welcome to uh, Multiverse Core Comics. Uh, you're definitely gonna uh, like this store. Uh, we are going to be you're gonna see that we're gonna be trying our best to um, to cater to you as much as possible and to our legacy and to our current and uh, current legacy customers uh, you guys will see that these guys are the most friendliest customers ever they're, they're most approachable approachable customers and we have lively discussions in here a lot so uh, you'll see why the average time that person stays here at the store is about an hour and five minutes so um, again welcome to our new subscriber there as well so also to our new subscribers too as well um, I wanted to let you guys know too as well as our new subscribers um, There's something that we do a little bit more different than here in this store We're a little bit more transparent in terms of how everything works in the store. We like to um, let our customer knows uh, our subscriber know how the ordering process works here at the store um, you'll start learning lingos like FOC so most of our uh, most of our um, current uh, legacy subscri subscribers know what FOC is which is final order cutoff um, you know so you'll learn how the ordering process works how diamond works you know just a little bit more the back end so we want to be more uh, as transparent as possible to let you guys in on our world in terms of how everything works in the store that little counter that we have back there that's not a division between the merchants and customers that's only something to put on top of just to cash something out there is no there is no division there uh, you'll find out in the store there is no division there so uh, as time goes you guys are going to learn about um, how our ordering process works so uh, if you have any question concerning that we will let you know too uh, as well okay so now something very important this is both for both our um, current legacy subscribers as well as our brand new subscribers so because of the enormous amount of um, subscribers that we've uh, currently signed up and we thank every single one of you guys for signing up and picking us here at the store um, we will let you know that there is a uh, since there is um, an enormous amount of subscribers that we have right now uh, that subscribe to a lot of titles that we have too as well um, our legacy our legacy subscribers also subscribe to those some of some of the titles some similar titles that you have as well so what ended up happening is that there may be a not a shortage but there may be a um, there is a certain amount of comic books that we do order uh, enough for everybody as well as enough for people walking in the store and then deciding to sign up to as well so we have enough for walk-in so and we have enough for subscribers so let's just say there's 30 subscribers for Batman we would order about 50 so 50 45 to 50 books in there so uh, you know we always go about 10 more books over what is required so if there's again if there's 30 people subscribe to Batman we would actually order 45 to about 50 uh, Batman so there's enough to, for everybody but uh, because of the uh, the increase the sudden increase jolt of sign up that happened in the past uh, two three weeks before free comic book day and also on free comic book day um, they that may not be enough so what's happening is this we are in the process of reordering them right at this moment 
So we have enough to go around for everybody, but um, we don't want everybody to get shorted by it. So that means that our inventory needs to increase as well. And it will increase. It will. There is no question about it. We will have more inventory. More customers, more subscribers means more inventory. Uh, what I'm trying to get to is this. Currently, right now, we have enough for everybody, but not uh, a lot for walk-ins. So what we're doing is that our current title say, um, I'm gonna use Batman again. Currently, Batman right now, we order about 35 um, necessary for Batman and about 40 more. That's gonna increase to about 50. So we're gonna have 50, uh, 50 copies of Batman coming in now too as well, or 50, 55, um, just because of the way everything's going right now. So we might order about 55, probably increase to 60. Or, you know what, we'll just increase to 60. 60 copies of Batman, there you go. We're gonna increase to 60 copies, yeah? Okay, there you go. So we're gonna increase to about 60 copies of Batman. Um, but that means that from what we order currently right now, it's already on its way. So that means we're gonna order more and that's gonna come two weeks later. So for our, legacy, uh, for our current legacy subscribers, you guys know how this works. If we reorder something right now that we did not get, Diamond actually ships that over in the following week or two weeks from now. For our um, for our brand new subscribers, on the other hand, um, the way that Diamond works is that when we reorder something, so let's just say, flat, um, let's just say if we were to take Superman, uh, Superman for this week coming up. There's no Superman coming up this week, but anyways, uh, let's just say if we order Superman this week, um, uh, for this week, for this week, we order them two months ahead of time, so we will get a certain amount coming uh, Superman coming this week but if we need more and we order more this this current Wednesday coming that means that we won't receive that until two weeks later that's just the way diamond works so right now what we're doing is that we're trying to catch up on those reorders because we are getting ready for a lot more customers coming in um, so because we have a lot more customers that's coming in so we're gonna do a lot more reorders so that means that if you did not get a certain title for our current and brand new subscriber if you did not get a certain title do not worry you will get them we're just ordering them in um, as soon as possible like we're doing reorders currently right now uh, so um, so yeah so you won't run out of any copies it's just that it's gonna get here a little bit later in there so uh, to our new subscribers just want to let you guys know you guys are not gonna run out of those copies you will get those copies we're just doing some reordering in there after about two about after about a month or so I would say after about a month two three weeks uh two three weeks tops uh, sorry three weeks uh after about three weeks tops um everything's gonna go back to normal and you're, you're gonna get your stuff on a weekly basis it's just that we order things two months ahead of time so um so just keep that in mind so within three weeks everything goes back to normal and you will get your books in a timely manner every wednesday unless diamond decides to short us um, for our um, current and legacy customers in there um, you know because of the newer subscribers coming in we do appreciate some of your patience in there too as well so um, if there is some, if you guys if you guys have any concerns definitely let me know directly uh, ask for me and then I can definitely explain it to you a little bit more but um, you know anything anything after that for our new customers as well as our legacy our current legacy subscribers thank you for your patience in advance in the coming weeks as we sort everything up in terms of our um, inventory here at the store and pretty much that's it um, that's it for the current news that's uh, been happening mm. What else? Avengers reached a billion dollars already within seven days. So there's that. Um, Lewis is due for another haircut. So that's that. Um, all right, our online store. Our online store is uh, is now up uh, online. So you can you guys can go ahead and order through online there. So what's gonna happen is that on the online store, it's a basic online store there too as well. You can prepay um, a lot of stuff in there too as well. As you know, you, it's um, what we do in our online is pretty much prepaying um, 
books that's uh that's coming out in the month of july um i will tell you this uh it may get a little bit confusing there because it's gonna ask you for delivery address there is no delivery address everything that we do online is going to be for in-store pickup so when it gets to the delivery part it'll say in-store pickup zero dollars so go ahead and just fill that out because we just uh the website just needs your address for um for future reference um it'll ask you twice to actually put in your address so uh first off uh, i apologize for that inconvenience but um it is actually pretty fast if you order through online um so if you want to go order through online all the description for prepays for the month of july it's all there too as well um but there is one book there um uh, that lois likes a lot uh, it's going to be an online exclusive book that you can only prepay. We're not going to be prepaying it in here. It's going to be online only. It's called uh, A Natural Number One from Image Comics. Um, there's a reason why, and when you see it, you'll see why. It's a variant cover for it, so you can definitely prepay for that online. That's only exclusive on our online store. Um, all right, Doomsday Clock. Uh, Jeff Johns went on uh, record to say that there is a confusion on when Doomsday Clock is coming out. Doomsday Clock number five actually comes out this month instead of next month. It comes out this month, this month on May 30th. So Doomsday Clock number five comes out this month. Um, I don't think I have uh, any other news, but if there is any news, uh, there's an important news that I might have missed out. Um, it's going to be tomorrow. There's going to be a brief announcement on it tomorrow on weekly Wednesdays. Actually, there is one. There is one announcement that I didn't mention. And um, I'm going to mention that on weekly Wednesdays. It's for our June 2nd. We have a mystery artist coming in here for a signing. So as you guys know, for our legacy, cur our current legacy subscribers, you know that we do a lot of artist signing here in the store. Uh, for our brand new customers, uh, we do a lot of signing in the store. We have artist signing comes in here that comes visit us. And we're get our next uh, artist signing is a month from now. It's going to be on June 2nd. And tomorrow, we're going to mention who that artist is and what that artist has done. If you guys have any questions, let me know let Kevin know let Ohenyu know uh, let Christian know and as always direct all your complaints and your frustrations towards Lewis isn't that right what? there you go <laughs> it's a direct all your frustrations you direct your complaints to me they will be ignored shattered <laughs> I will find you and criticize you <laughs> It's not gonna be happy for you. It's gonna be, it's gonna be very very happy. Oh, Lewis and Show is coming back this weekend, guys. Uh, this week, guys. By the way, this Friday. Uh, Don't believe it. It should have been like two weeks ago. No, he's like, uh, we got issues. Comes back this Friday, guys. Uh, we'll make more announcement there. But uh, until then, I'll see you guys tomorrow on weekly Wednesdays. Goodbye.